Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am Pastor Marianne Kellenbach, pastor at Living Faith Church, which is located in the community of tradition in Port St. Lucie, Florida. And today is Friday, October the 9th. We continue with our, what we call Lectio Divina, but it's, we're not really dwelling in the word. What we're dwelling in is the devotion word that we had. And our devotion had come to us on, um, on Monday. We started with uh, Jesus Calling, Sarah Young, and the devotion um, that, that um, speaks about listening for the Holy Spirit and letting the Holy Spirit work through us. And that's what we've been focusing on this week. So, I'd like to invite you now to close your eyes and hear these words once again. Let them wash over you. This is Jesus talking to you. Learn to listen to me even while you are listening to other people. As they open their souls to your scrutiny, you are on holy ground. You need the help of my spirit to respond appropriately. Ask the Holy Spirit, to think through you, live through you, love through you. My own being is alive within you in the person of the Holy Spirit. If you respond to others' needs through your unaided thought processes, you offer them dry crumbs. When the Spirit empowers your listening and speaking, my streams of living water flow through you to other people. Be a channel of my love my joy, and my peace by listening to me as you listen to others. There's so many pieces that really struck me this morning. Um, you need, you need my help, the help of, the, of my spirit to respond appropriately. Right then and there, we know we don't know the right things to say. And that's why we have to listen at the same time for what the Holy Spirit is telling us in what we should say or sometimes not say. Sometimes being quiet, present, and just saying, I'm here for you. I am present for you. I hurt with you. I hear you. Is the response that the Holy Spirit directs you to. But it says, if you just respond to others' needs by yourself, without my help, you're not giving them what they need. You're giving them dry crumbs. But instead, here's what I love, when the Spirit empowers your listening and speaking, because that's what the Holy Spirit does. When the Spirit empowers your listening and speaking, my streams of living water flow through you to other people. My streams of living water. That triggers for us the story of Jesus meeting the woman, at, the Samaritan woman at the well. And remember what he says to her, right? The fountain, the, the, my streams of living water, the fountain of water, life-giving water gushing up from within. And Eugene Peterson's, the message, says this in particular when he speaks to the woman at the well. The water I give will be an artesian spring within, gushing fountains of endless life. Think about that. That through you, through your listening to what the Holy Spirit says that you should be saying, not what you yourself say, but what the Holy Spirit says you should say, the water that is given to this person is the artesian spring within gushing fountains of endless life. Sometimes we think that when we say something and the Holy Spirit has directed us to say it, we don't know where it came from, but we just know that God laid it on us, our heart. The Holy Spirit has laid it on our heart and we are to share that with the other. That's what we're to share. And when we do that, when we do that, that is where the other person is receiving that um, life-giving water that is gushing up. So on this day, remember that you have been empowered to listen and to speak what the Holy Spirit tells you to do so. Because in doing so, 
you, you become the conduit through which this life-giving water flows through to the other person. See you back here tomorrow. Amen. Thank you.